trainee train driver Terence is nervously waiting to take a crucial practical exam. Passing it will ensure he can start driving in a real Northern Line train. I think I need a drink. <laughs> you mean coffee? Yeah, I mean, it, I mean coffee. Yeah. <laughs> right, the moment of truth. I will see you after 10 minutes. <laughs> Thank you. All Keith has to worry about is clearing out his locker. Never looked at all this, sir. Traumatized? No, what's that? 1988? Blooming egg. Look at that, mate, the old God's bar. I think it used to be on an A60. God's bar. I've kept that, it's gone a bit uh, rusty now. But that was bright chrome. That was. And they were doing away with them, I thought I'll have one for a souvenir. Like the old God's bar. That ties you up back, didn't it, eh? Okay, so I'm just going to check the paperwork for and I'll be out in a minute. All right, okay. thank you very much. Wow. Don't ask me anything. It has been really, really difficult. Oh, God, I don't know how I did I don't know how I did. Mm. And you stuck to all the procedures, so I'm happy to say you retained the standards. So Thank well you done. very much. Well wow. So it's a lot of hard work, but it pays off in the end. Thank so you well very done. much. Terence is celebrating, and today so is Keith Tibbles, who's having his retirement party after 44 years of service. What's about, mate? What's about? Oh, oh, oh. Sure camera. Take Stevie, babe. Oh, Hello. Oh, mate, you're better now. Oh, good. I never knew I was so popular. Must be the jokes. He said, have you heard this one? A horse goes into a pub and he says, what a long face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to go in there. Yeah, they're all there. The underground's network manager, Andy Barr, is there to see Keith off. It's been good. Yeah, it is. It's been good working with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even though I'm upset you? Even, Keith, you've never upset me. Not not much, anyway. How many years you got in? 40, 44. 44. And I've got 38. He's only a boy. 39 in, in September. Boy, boy. And facing his very first day in the cab of a 160-tonne Northern Line train is trainee driver Terence. This afternoon, he'll get to drive for real under the watchful eye of instructor John Scott. Right. He's stepping in, train 040. Once you get your pilot light, round, push it forward and away we go. Now you're actually checking the train out of the platform mm -hmm. and checking the signal and seeing where you're going at the same time. Right. Well, it sounds fairly easy. But you're always going to have someone run up exactly like that. You're always going to leave somebody behind. Yeah. It's the way of life, I'm afraid. Well, say, you're your own boss. This is your office. So if you're in your office, it's what you make it. That's right. And if you're good at your job, your train crew manager will never know your name. I can do it. You can do it. If you can do it, I can Anyone. do it. Anyone. <laughs> yeah, I reckon that Keith has driven about 1.25 million miles, okay, or about 2 million kilometres on a Met train. Uh -huh. the rest uh -huh. <laughs> right. And if you think about that in context, that means that if we could do it, he's probably driven a Met train around the equator 50 times. 
It took me six months, but I've done it. I didn't oh, it you, Mr. Tibbles. Oh, it's in the box. I actually counted the matchsticks. It was 3,502. Wow. <laughs> that choked me more than anything. John making me that. Oh, God. I need to burst into tears. You can feel the love, you know, everybody loves you, even the jokes. <laughs> Well, that's it. I'm going for a cup of tea. Good race. It's your seat. It's, it's all yours. <laughs> Go on, sit in that seat. Let's have a feel. Ah. Right. So check your signal's green. Signal is green. green. Uh, no passengers getting off. Leave that alone for a minute. Right. Shut your doors. How do you shut your doors? Press the close button. Close the doors. Close the doors. Wait for your door visual. And on the controller, twist and push forward. As far as it will go. You can't break it. Push it forward. All right. You can't break it. I told you, you can't break these things. Yeah. And that's it. Just keep going. That's fine. That's it. But okay. keep an eye on your speed. Which is going 30, a little bit. 35, yeah? Yeah. And you're going uphill. And you're, you're still motoring. Yeah. OK. That's where the brake is. That's There's your coast. Okay. There's your brakes. I feel see. your brakes? Yeah. Yeah. You, see how you can hear and feel them applying. Now you can feel them applying. Yes. Yeah. So braking. Now you break it down a bit. Okay. Not too much. All right. Because you're looking for the stopping mark on the end of the wall there, on the left hand side. That's it. You're on the stop stopping side. mark. Yeah. So bring it back. Wow. Let it go. Let it go. Ah, other side. Ah, that's on the other side. Where? Right. That's it. Ah. So now you're looking the passengers on and off. On and Make off. sure they stop doing it. Yeah. Check your signal. Signal is green, green. as I can see. Shut so your doors. Go now. Ah, man. I thought it was going to be difficult. No, it's not. I'm having a time of my life. Because it is the moment that I've been waiting for, you know. Though I'm not driving full time, it's an experience. It is an experience, trust me. That's just been my dream for the past, I don't know, past one year to two years. And now I've done it. So hopefully it's going to be the same for the next 20 years or so. Or for the rest of my life, you never know. A honeymooning couple managed to win Jane over tonight in a bid to make their flight, but what works for some doesn't work for others, it would seem. For battles at the boarding gate, tune in to Skyreel Lives for Airline at 8 tonight.